guys and welcome back to my channel. Today's video is going to be this bronzy smoky eye with a rose lip. So I've been on Pinterest a ton recently. What am I talking about? I'm always on Pinterest. But I noticed in myself that I was pinning a ton of these types of looks. And also they're kind of all over Pinterest right now. Maybe they've been there for a while. But I've noticed like the bronze smoky eye with a rose lip was just, it's just everywhere. And I've also been pinning like tons of looks that look really similar to this. So I was super inspired to recreate this look after seeing all those photos on Pinterest. And I hope you guys like it as much as I do. It's definitely something that's a little more bold because it's smoked out. So it'd be something that would be gorgeous for evening or for a date night or something like that. Before I get into the tutorial, please make sure to hit that subscribe button. And if you're already subscribed, just be sure to hit the notification bell. That just means you'll be notified every single time I post a video. And nowadays, YouTube doesn't always notify subscribers. So it's really good if you want to see all my videos to hit that bell. So yeah, if you guys want to see how I got this bronzy, smoky eye and rose lip, then just keep watching. Okay, so we're going to start out with the Anastasia Pro Pencil in the shade Base 1. This is supposed to be like an eyeshadow primer, but I also use it to sculpt out my eyebrows. If you guys have seen my eyebrow tutorial, I will link that below if you guys are interested because I did do my brows beforehand. So I blended that all over and now I'm going to set it with the Peaches and Cream shade from the Sweet Peach palette from Too Faced. I love this palette so much, you guys, and... I really love every shade in here. It's incredible. So I made sure to blend that out. It makes a really nice base for all the shadows to blend out on. I'm taking the shade Puree now and I'm just buffing that out into the crease as a transition shade. I'm making sure to pull it out a little bit towards my ear, kind of like an almond shape. And I'm also blending it in towards my nose, as you can see. So I'm just making sure that it's really blended out and I'm pulling it into the inner corner just to make it really look nice and smoky at the end. So now I'm going into the shade Cobbler all over the lid. I went in a few times and just built up the intensity. So this is totally up to you. I went in about mm, three times to get the desired color that I wanted and then I made sure to blend it all out. This is a smoky look and with any eyeshadow you want to blend it out as much as possible. So now going in with the shade Caramel this will really help make the look really smoky so I just focus this on the outer third and then drag it into the crease a little bit and just kind of emphasize that almond shape that I was going for but of course since it's smoky I also blended that out too just to make sure there's no harsh lines but there is a distinct shape going on if you know what I mean Next, I'm picking up the shade Luscious. This is going to be our inner third color. So, I mean, ultimately we're kind of making like an ombre from, you know, light to dark from inner corner to outer corner. So I just made sure to blend that into the other shadows. And now I'm going in with a makeup wipe just to clean up any fallout that may have happened and also to sharpen up the side of my eye. Does that make sense? So it makes like a really nice shape without even trying. So now I'm going to go in with the Bobbi Brown Extra Illuminating Moisture Balm. This stuff is so good. It's so, oh, it's just so great. I love it so much. I'm going in with the Balm Photo Balm Foundation and you'll see that it's really too light for me. I took the lightest shade, which is called Lighter Than Light, and I didn't really notice until there. So um, then I went in with the next darkest shade to kind of help fix it but it will all look a lot better in the end keep in mind that it's always easier to darken a foundation that's too light than it is to try to lighten a foundation that is too dark so you know if something like this happens don't freak out just you know wait till the end use your bronzer and it will all look better in the end so i went in with my Tarte Shape Tape Concealer on all the high points and under my eyes. I also used it to cover up any blemishes and I just blended that out with my Aesthetica Beauty Sponge. I went in with the lightest shade of the Photo Bomb Foundation and this actually worked really well to set my concealer and highlight as well. So going back into the eyes, I'm going back into Puree underneath the lower lash line and really smoking that out. Don't be too afraid of it looking like a raccoon because it does right now, but once you add mascara, especially on the bottom lashes, it will look just fine. So then I'm going in with the shade Cobbler, doing the exact same thing, and then I'm going in the shade Caramelized, and I'm just focusing that on the outer third of the eye, just like we did on the upper lid, and then I'm going in with Luscious and doing the same thing, but in the inner corner, or inner third, I mean. So now I'm going to go in with the shade Tempting, which is a shimmery black shade, and I'm taking an angled brush, and I'm just kind of stamping that into my lash line. You don't have to worry about it being too perfect, because we are going to just smoke it out with a small um, little brush. So whatever small brush you have, just smoke it out and just kind of blend it into the lash line and up into the other shadows and that will just help kind of make a 
subtle smoky definition on your upper lash line which i think looks really really nice so i'm going in with my benefit their real mascara i have been loving this i grab it a ton recently actually and i went in with two coats on the top and i also made sure to put it on the bottom lashes so it's up to you you can do one coat use your favorite mascara and just make your lashes really stand out i think that really helps with any smoky eye look so of course, I'm going with my Physician's Formula Butter Bronzer. I'm just going to warm up the complexion, and this is where you can kind of see it look a lot better. It makes me look less ghostly, you know? So, worst case scenario, if your foundation is too light, just make sure to warm it up with a good bronzer. I went back over it with the Photobomb Foundation um, in the shade Light. I don't know why I did this. I think it was maybe to just kind of less intensify the bronzer, which I don't think I really needed to do, so... It's not a very necessary step if you want to skip it you can i'm going with the new bomb bomb springs blush oh my gosh that was hard to say it's beautiful though i'm so obsessed with this shade i'm just popping that on the apples of the cheeks and now i'm going in with the cover effects custom enhancer drops that i got mine in the shade moonlight this is gorgeous you can mix it in with your foundation to make it more luminous if you want but i also like to use it as just a normal highlight so i blend it out with my fingers and this blends really nicely over top of powder foundations even obviously because that's what i'm wearing and it didn't i didn't have any problems with it so i blend it out with my finger first then i make sure to kind of press it into the skin with a damp beauty sponge and then I use the excess on all the other high points of my face. It just creates a really gorgeous natural glow. So now I'm going in with the shade Nectar as my inner corner highlight, also highlighting the brow bone after. It's a gorgeous highlight shade. I love it so much. Now I'm going to set everything with the Becca Soft Light Powder. I mentioned this in my favorites video and I really, really like it. It just kind of creates a soft glow while setting your makeup. It's not sparkly at all. I've really loved it. And then I'm going to go in with the Tarte Lip Paint, Tartist Pro Lip Paint, I believe, matte lip paint uh, in the shade Rosé. It's such a beautiful shade. It pairs perfectly with this eye look, I think. And then I set that with the Tarte Rainforest of the Sea Setting Spray. I also made sure to remove any mascara marks that were left and that's it. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. I hope you guys enjoyed this look as much as I do. I really love how it turned out. Let me know in the comments below what other videos you'd like to see. I read them all and I would love to hear your guys' requests because I always want to create stuff that you want to see. So once again, be sure to subscribe if you have not already and I will see you all in my next video. Love you. Bye.